What's going on guys? It's Bill from Plus Guys Gaming back again with a dueling book commentary videos again. Today's matchup, we'll see two powerful decks face off. We have B4P, I'm just call him BAP. It's 1433 over 1136, so he's pretty high ranked going up against 1146 over 993. So a high ranking matchup. His name is Hype. Hypno corn, hypno corn. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see who's gonna win the rock paper scissors. As you can see, Bath is gonna choose to go first. He's gonna draw whip tail and perm Timkey, bunny blast and solemn strike. So we're playing zoo down here, and up here we have tribegade, Karas, barrage and perm desires and a mystic mind. Ooh, I think this mystic mind is gonna come up really quick let's get into it 10 key to start us off he's going to search for a thorough blade he's going to summon the thorough blade activate the effect pitching bunny blast to draw into another thorough blade he's going to overlay hammer con tiger mortar detach to reattach bunny blast then he's going to go drident set the strike set the impairment pass gamma is drawn by hypnocorn who is going to start his turn and Yep, he's going to start his turn with an impermanence. And he's going to play Mystic Mind and pass it back. Mystic Mind coming down. That draws Desires. Will he activate it? He does. We're going to see what he banishes. He's banishing the slower, I think. So he banishes Raptor, Desires, Valor, Imperm, Chalice, Skullmeister, another Desires another Valor, Strike and Tenki. So the second copy of Strike and Tenki are gone. Both copies of Valor, I'm not sure if he plays three. He banished the remaining copies of Desires, so that's always good. Pretty good Desires is just gonna depend on what he draws now. He draws Ash Blossom and Imperm. All right, but still nothing to out. The Mystic Mind is going to set the Imperm passing turn. A draw and lock bird is drawn, and he's going to pass it right back. Solemn Strike, pass, Kuras, pass, Imperial Order. He immediately sets that in pass. He Hypnocoin draws Fractel, sets a part of Desires. I believe he passes, but at the end phase. We're going to get this Imperial Order flipped up. That's going to negate the Mystic Mind as well as the Tenki. So the 100 attack point boost will not be in effect any longer. It's going to detach. Wait. Wait a minute. Why was that detached? Oh, oh, Dryden, duh. <laughs> he Dryden popped Mystic Mind. Okay. He drew into Chalice. It's gonna summon Doroblade, overlay into Chalk and Iron, detach, reattach another Doroblade. Uh, not reattach, but special summon another Doroblade, and then overlay with the B Drill. Attack for 16, 25, and 24. Remember, Imperial Order does negate the Tanky, so they do not have the 100 attack point boost. As you can see, he had to remember that here himself. Past his turn, he draws into the Twin Twister. That would have helped them a turn or two ago. Fractel is activated. He's going to discard it to the graveyard. Bap says he's thinking, and he says it's okay. He's going to send Nerval. He's going to Ash the Nerval, which is going to be met with a Gamma, which is also going to be met with a Strike. So Strike to the Gamma that was trying to. Uh, activate upon the Ash Blossom. We're gonna go to game two. Game two. Hypnocorn going first. Opening hands for BAP. Double Lightning Storm. Skullmeister. Zodiac Ram Ram. Zodiac Barrage. Up here we have the Gamma and the Driver. That sucks. That completely sucks. He has Twin Twister. Nerval and Kit. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what he can do with it. He's gonna immediately pass. Bap draws the Forbidden Chalice. Ram Ram is a Chakanine. Attack for 400. Hammer Kong, Zeus, pass. Oh, he's gonna set the Chalice, then pass. Up here, we got Revolt drawn. All right, we got Twin Twisters activated. Getting rid of the Chalice. He's gonna activate Kit's Effect. And Kit is going to allow him to send a Tri Brigade card from deck to graveyard. He's going to send Nerval. He's going to attempt to activate his effect. It's going to be met with a Skullmeister, which is going to be met with a Cyframe Gamma. It sucks that he drew the driver, but he can still activate the Gamma. It's just that you really rather this be in the deck. It's, this could have been any other card, and it would have been better. Yeah, it's the Karaz. It's gonna summon Nerval. Zeus. It's gonna set one. Pass the turn. Gamma is drawn. There's a revolt set. He cannot activate his lightning storms because he has a face-up card. It's gonna switch to attack and attempt to attack. Hypnocorn will take the 2000 and we're gonna overlay a Zeus with another Zeus. Alright. He's gonna, he's gonna activate Zeus effect. He's gonna be met with a revolt. He's gonna summon Barum, Barabum, Rampager. I'm gonna say that. All right, so uh, let's see. This card is in the graveyard. He can add one Trap Gate spell a trap card from the deck to the hand, then place one card from the hand to the bottom of the deck. He's gonna activate Bloom Channeling One. Nerve channeling two and kit channeling three because he pretty much uh, special summons Nerval and then kit and then brings immediately link summons that and then he gets sent to the grave by Zeus, allowing him to add more cards to his hand, put one back. Bap is thinking, Barrage is activated, he's gonna pop the uh, Zeus, special summon Duroblade. Borbo, Chalconine, Detach Borbo, Summon Ram Ram, Summon Trident, Pass. Pa Desirous is drawn. Kit is summoned. It's gonna pop it. Kit effect. Sends to the grave. Nerval. Nerval effect. Adds to the hand. Karas. Desirous comes down. Let's see what he banished. Okay, gotta do this one by one. Judgment. Imperm, Desires, Imperm, Twin Twisters, Raptor, Ram Ram, Ash Blossom, Chalice, and Ash Blossom. So two Ash Blossoms banished. The Raptor is also banished. He also banished Double Imperm, as well as a Pot of Desires. Um, okay. Sucks that the Raptor got banished, but we'll see what becomes of it. It's gonna draw Kit. And Whiptail. It's gonna declare the effect of Kuras. Special summon it from the hand. And we're gonna go to game three. Bap amidst the feet. We're gonna move on into game three. Guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Don't forget to ding that notification bell, really helps us out, and we enjoy bringing you some high quality Yu-Gi-Oh content. Be on the lookout for our videos, as well as our podcasts, weekly podcasts out of this. But uh, let's get into this game three, shall we? We got Power Desires, Imperm, Ram Ram, Riptail, and Strike. And Bap is going first. Up here we have Double Ash, Ram Ram, Kit, and in Impermanence. So two negations two interruptions I might say but um hmm. we'll have to see where this goes desires will be met with the ash blossom yes it will he banishes judgment raptor skullmeister durablade double durablade tinky ash blossom bunny blast the a second desires and a macro cosmos interesting to see macro cosmos being played again He 
He's going to summon Ram Ram, go to Hamakar, go into Chalkanine, go into Dryden, set two, pass. Pile of Desires is drawn. He's going to summon Kit. He's going to link into Amaraj and get Kit's effect to send Nerval. Nerval's effect will add to the hand, Karas. It's going to activate Pile of Desires, banishing 10. It's good. Let's take a look at what it's banished. He has Fractel, Ash Blossom, Kit, Fractel, Crankatops, Tinky, Luster, Judgment, Challenge, and Fractal. He banishes all of his Fracts. All Fracts are banished. Ash Blossom and a Kit is banished as well as the Raptor, I believe. No? No, Raptor does not banish from him. He banished a Chalice and a Judgment and a Duster and a Tinky. Alright, let's move on. Let's see what he draws into. Tinky and Barrage. Pretty darn good. Wow, those were nice draws. Gonna activate the Tinky. Search the Raptor. It's gonna activate Karas. Send Raptor. Or summon Karas from my hand. It's gonna activate Karas and Fett. He can link summon by banishing. But he's gonna get Solemn Strike. Alright, moving on. He's gonna detach the pop Amaraj of the Inferiors and draw into Imperial Order. He's gonna summon the Whiptail, overlay Borbo, attack for tw six, no, 12. Attack Mortar, Zeus. Sets the IL and passes. Solemn Judgment is draw drawn by Hypno Corn. It's gonna summon Ram Ram. Says it's okay. It's gonna go into Trident. It's gonna attempt to beat over the um, Trident here. Or just. Hmm, what is, what is he trying to do? Just trying to attack so we can go Zeus, I feel. But, um, Dryden, Chain Dryden. Hypnocorn targets the Zeus. Imperial Order is activated. Dryden go bye bye. Main phase two. We're gonna see Barrage come down. He says it's okay. We're gonna see a set card and a pass of a turn. 10 key. Activated. Ashed. He switches Zeus and Dryden to attack mode. He's going to try to deal 34, 3500 points of damage, which he succeeds in doing. Going to main phase two. He's going to overlay a Zeus onto another Zeus and get Solemn Judgmented. 1650 is life points for Hypnocorn. Dryden, Pop Barrage. He's going to go. Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, Borbo, Zeus. Three Zeus. He plays three Zeus. Passing turn. We got him perm and drop there. Yeah, this is over. I don't I don't know, man. This might be over. He can survive a turn. He can oh, never mind. Zeus clears the board, tax for game. That's gonna call it. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your boys. Plus, guys, gaming, who your boys? Who your boys? Don't forget to ding that notification bell. Really helps us out. Really supports us, and we love supporting you. So, please look forward to our upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh content as well as our podcast. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.